Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibe for Tuesday, July 31st. Uh, but keep in mind, if you're in a different country and the date has changed, this is whenever you watch it. This, these, these readings are for when you tune in, okay? Um, the timing is always fluid, and this may not even resonate for today. This could have already happened, could be tomorrow, could be next week, whatever. You know, we're all at different phases in our life. This is a message that I'm picking up on today, and it will not resonate with every single person. Um, so keep that in mind. If it feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. Somebody has been resisting moving away, <laughs> holding on to something very, very tightly, um, kind of obsessed, obsessed with something when they really need to move away. They need to, they need to leave the, the storm behind them, okay? You need to leave the, the choppy waters, you know, you need to leave the disorder and the chaos and the waves behind you. It's time to move towards peace and calm and let go. Somebody is resisting letting go. There's an end of a contract. Now, I can't really remember what yesterday's reading was, but I know we had the lovers and it was reversed. So is this going to be like a playoff? Is I mean, is somebody still resisting? Is this what's going on? This is the end of a contract. There's 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 too much too much arguments, too many conflicts, too much indecision. Somebody's not compatible. This is incompatibility. Which brings conflict into their lives. This also signifies that there's a better suitor, but somebody is refusing to see that. I mean, You have to have self-respect, confidence, courage. In in order to make progress, you have to you have to let go of an obsession. You do. There's nothing solid, nothing stable, nothing secure. There's nothing feasible about whatever this is that you're hanging on to. There's 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 no abundance in it. It's not going to get you anywhere, whatever it is that you're hanging on to. There's no new beginning with this obsession. Aces are new beginnings. This one is reversed. They're mirroring each other. The victory and success come. They're mirroring each other. The victory and success comes when you move on. When you move away from this obsession. Move away. Find victory and success. Move on. You have to have self-respect. You have to have self-confidence. One more thing. Six, six, six. 666. Many people think that's a devil number. It's actually not a devil number. 666. Get your life back on track. That's what it means. It's a spiritual wake up call. It's about choices. It's a time of reevaluation when you see 666. It's the journey towards balance and harmony. It is. That's what the meaning of 666, 666 is. The journey towards balance and harmony. You notice two of them are upright. One of them is not. The major arcana is not. The lovers reversed. Somebody is hanging on to some sort of union that is no longer feasible. It's not, it's unreal. 
And it's time for you to bring the balance and harmony. There's no balance and harmony hanging on to this bullshit. There isn't. There's incompatibility. Why? Why? You will find... Look at They're right on each side of it. Victory and success. Moving away from this dead-end contract. Whether this is at work or in love. There's too much conflict. And there's nothing stable, solid, secure, long-term going to come out of it. There's not. It's time to get your life back on track. Wake up. And bring balance and harmony back to your life. You seriously need to reevaluate your goals, reevaluate the situation. It doesn't lead to anything solid. It's a it's a pure obsession. The indecision is is so great here for somebody. Now, this is a card of ego. Wanting to prove that you, you know, who you are. Being stubborn. What's that going to get for you? It's not going to get you peace and harmony in this relationship. You have to move on to find victory and success. You have to accept the truth. You need to see it clearly. This is the beginning of clarity. When you take action, you have to take action. Act now, think later, move on. Take action right now to bring peace and harmony back to your life. Conflicts? Drama? Five of Wands? You bring it on. You bring this own drama and conflicts into your life by not taking action. Look at, they're mirroring each other. Conflict, conflict. Why? Is that, was that what you want? You have the choice to change your life whenever you're ready. But if you like this drama, if you like these conflicts, if you like these games, then you will live with the consequences. The lovers is a card of consequences of that choice. You need to leave somebody out in the cold. You need to leave a situation out in the cold. You need to realize the truth. You need to stop seeing yourself as a victim. This is a victim mentality. And step off of that thin ice onto ground. You need to get grounded. You need to come back down to reality here. To find victory and success. As soon as you move on, you will... You, you will start to see the light, the sun will come back out, and things will start to get progress in a better direction very, very quickly. But right now, you're on that roller coaster back and forth, back and forth. Lack of balance, lack of harmony. That's what this card is. That's your choice. This is a card of choice. It's a card of decision. You're indecided. So therefore your life is going to be unharmonious and unbalanced because somebody thinks that victory and success lies in a incompatible contract. It's a thought. Now, this is the, the sword of, of truth, right? Right? Everybody knows, right? It's the sword of truth. It's the sword of power. It's the sword of clarity. It's the beginning of accepting the truth, right? It aces our beginnings. The truth is, whatever it is that you are hanging on to is not secure. It's not long-term. It's not stable. It's not going to lead to anything solid.
victory and success will come when you allow this difficult period to end, when you step off of that thin ice. That's when victory and success will come. When you come out of the darkness, things will progress towards harmony and, and peace. But you have to take the step. Somebody is trying to escape the reality of it. That, that's what's happening here. Could be with addictions. Could be with lying to themselves. Whatever it is. Somebody is trying to escape the truth. Escape the truth. They're mirroring each other. I need to escape this truth because this is what I know. This is what I've held on to. And I have to prove to the world that I'm right. That I didn't make a mistake. Act now, think later. It's time to move on from a situation that is a dead end. It's time to bring harmony and peace and joy and balance back to your life. It's time to wake up. It's time to get your life back on track, 666. Restore control. Today is a day of accepting the truth and moving on from this obsession, whatever it is. Some of you still won't own it. No, 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 no. And you'll have to live with those consequences and continue to be have a unharmonious, unpeaceful, unbalanced life. You have to own the truth. to be confident and have some self-respect. Remove yourself from the game. There's no victory in this partnership, whatever it is, whether it's at work, love, whatever. There's no victory in it. You know what it is. But trying to escape and be in denial, hey, that's your call. Refusing to compromise, refusing to cooperate with the universe. It's just these messages, they keep coming. You, it, you can't manifest the wrong thing. Somebody's been trying to manifest an illusion, something that's fake. Trying to manifest something that's, that cannot be manifested. And you know, people can say, oh, you can manifest anything. No, you can't. You can't manifest something that isn't in the plan. It's not for your highest good. You can't manifest something that's not for your highest good. You can. I mean, yeah, you're, if you have a lesson to learn. But you can't. What I'm trying to say is you can't make a situation work out that isn't meant to work out. What do you desire? 
you now have the opportunity, once you get your life back on track, once you get your life back on track, I want to throw that out there, you now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires. Once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know that you're ready and deserving of them, they'll rush into your life as if by magic. This is the rush in. But I really have to reiterate, you cannot manifest the wrong one. You cannot. And many people think that you can. So they're holding on to a, to a fantasy This is a fantasy in reverse. It's, it is. Holding on to a lie. Holding on to something that is fake. When you manifest, you don't, you don't really put a name on it. I manifest the partnership, the contract that is for my highest good. There is too many. Act now, think later. It's time for you to move on from a contract and get go after what you truly desire deep down. And I know some of you are going to be like, oh, no, I desire this person. I got to have this person, exactly this person. No. No. It doesn't work like that. You can't manifest somebody to fall back in love with you or to fall in love with you if it's not again if it's against their will or it's against the higher power's will. You can't. That's wrong. That's wrong. A child's love the love between a parent and a child is one of the most precious and deep connections we make during our time on earth. Children start out as part of us, and from their first cries, they establish themselves as the biggest part of our hearts. I feel as though this, for some of you, this has to do with a child. It has to do with, you know, staying in a contract that is unhealthy and unharmonious, perhaps for the children. On the bottom of the deck, self-love. Now is the time to love, nurture, and heal yourself. Self-love is not simply a state of mind about feeling good. It's a state of appreciation for yourself that grows and matures from the actions you take to support your body, mind, and soul. If you're trying to manifest somebody to fall in love with you that isn't the right one? Is that self-love? I feel like today is a day of reevaluating. It is 666, it's a reevaluation of what you truly desire. In realizing that you cannot manifest the wrong thing. You cannot. I don't care what anybody says. I really don't. So I feel like today is a day of accepting the truth as it was yesterday. It's really a day of reevaluation as to what is going to bring harmony and peace and balance to your life. And it appears 
that there's a contract that needs to end so that you can find that harmony and peace. But some of you will continue to hold on and suffer. And it will not lead to anything solid. Talk to you later.